Poland's Robert Kubica has proved he's capable of a return to Formula One, following on from his performance during the post-Hungary test, in which he set Renault's fastest time and fourth fastest overall. Kubica's taste of the RS17 was the final hurdle in determining whether a comeback was possible after a six and a half year hiatus following the 2011 rally accident that partially severed his right forearm. Renault initially evaluated the pole via two tests in the V8-era 2012 Lotus E20, in which he showed he'd lost none of his speed or consistency. And in the Hungary test, Kubica completed 142 laps with minimal breaks, his best lap time 1.4 seconds down on Vettel, but ahead of both Toro Rosso drivers, the pole's top lap set on the ultra softs. The former Grand Prix winner for BMW Sauber now feels he can tackle a full race distance, but must wait for Renault to make up its mind. I would like more opportunities, but the reality is that I don't know, said Kubica. We will have to wait and see. Rumors continue to swirl that Kubica will replace Jolyon Palmer for 2018, with the Brits still yet to score a point. The 2018 introduction of forward cockpit protection device Halo continues to divide the Formula One community. But Mercedes protege George Russell has revealed an unexpected positive during the post-Hungary test. Russell, the first to try the Halo since the device was approved for 2018, tested it for just an outlap and inlap, and said not only was visibility better than expected, but the Halo blocked the sun from his eyes. So I actually saw more than I would usually see on circuit at 5.30 p.m. when the sun is low, he said. He did, however, suggest seeing the starting light gantry may be tougher, though did not get a chance to test it. The 19-year-old spent two days in the W08, clocking 209 laps, with his best time a 1.19.231 on day one half a second adrift of race driver Valtteri Bottas, who was testing tires for Pirelli. Russell currently leads the GP3 championship with two wins, nine points up on teammate Jack Aitken, with the Brit highly rated by Mercedes. George Russell caught my eye a couple of years ago when uh, he walked into my office, sent me an email where I, he, I would have 10 minutes to have a chat with him. And it was just when he did the steps, for, the step from from go-karting into, into single-seaters. And he was a very confident uh, young man with a great track record in go-karting. Red Bull Racing team principal Christian Horner has said he was impressed Lewis Hamilton returned third place to his teammate Valtteri Bottas at the end of the Hungarian Grand Prix. The switchback, which was promised if Hamilton could not pass the Ferraris ahead, could make a difference at the end of the season the Brit giving up three points to honor the deal. And 14 points now the gap to main title rival Ferrari's Sebastian Vettel. But while Horner was impressed, he wasn't surprised Mercedes swapped the pair back, despite Red Bull's Max Verstappen on their tails. It would have been harsh on Valtteri, because you are effectively telling him you are out of the championship the moment you did that, Horner said. The Hungara ring is finally set to receive a much needed facelift following next year's Hungarian Grand Prix. The tight and twisty track, located around 30 kilometers northwest of Budapest, has had largely unchanged facilities since the first race in 1986, when F1 first went behind the Iron Curtain. But a 136 million US dollar upgrade will see a new main grandstand and pits and paddock complex, bringing the Hungara ring in line with other upgraded F1 circuits like Silverstone, which had a huge makeover in 2011. TheInsideLine.com for everything Formula One.